There was a young man who tried his level best to clear his exams at university, but he repeatedly failed and finally he just gave up, thinking that marriage would be the best way to make him responsible, his family got him married. After the marriage, the man took up a job as a primary school teacher, but due to lack of experience, was mocked by the students and finally removed by the school authorities in just a few weeks' time. When he returned home that day, his wife wiped his tears and comforted him. She said to him, you can teach young kids only if you've taken formal training or at least have some experience of teaching kids. And for you, you didn't study teaching at university, nor have you dealt with kids earlier. So how would you know how to teach kids? Don't be too sad about it. When God says yes to your prayer, He gives you what you want. But when He says no to your prayer, He has something better for you. Probably there is a better, more suitable job waiting for you out there. Gathering some hope, the man kept trying to find opportunities and when he did finally find one, he was once again chucked out of the job due to his slowness. Yet again, his wife tried to encourage him by saying, I'm sure there are people who are skilled and experienced at that job and their experience comes from many years at it. As for you, you were in school trying to teach kids all this while. So how could you acquire the needed skills? Don't worry. When God says no to your prayer, He gives you something better. But when He says wait to your prayer, He gives you the best. The man kept trying his luck with several jobs which never lasted more than a couple of weeks, at best months. Each time he would return back home dejected and depressed and his loving wife would comfort him. Never once was she disappointed or resentful. By the time the man was in his thirties, he had found his calling and had acquired a flair in languages. He ended up being a counsellor in a school for those kids who were challenged in hearing and speaking. And a little later, he opened his own school for specially abled kids. In a couple of years, he set up a chain of stores in different cities and provinces selling apparatus and equipment for the specially abled and went on to become a multi-millionaire. One day, the now rich man asked his wife, when I was so negative about my own future, how could you have so much faith in me? The reply that his wife gave him was simple yet very profound and inspiring. She said, when a piece of land is not suitable for planting wheat, we should try planting beans. And after all the years of efforts, if beans are not growing well, we should try planting fruits or veggies. And if the vegetation doesn't work, we can scatter buckwheat seeds. These seeds will one day bloom into flowers. And on the very land itself, there will be one seed that will germinate and grow. After having listened to the wife's explanation, the man wept. Her faith in him, her love, her patience, her persistence was actually responsible for the successful empire that they now owned. Ladies and gentlemen, no one in this world is useless. The land may be very fertile, but you may not have figured out your seed it takes a while to figure out what's your seed, what works for you, 
But once you discover your seed, your passion, your calling, excellence and abundant growth will simply be a consequence. Until then, you need to believe in yourself. More so, you need someone who can believe in you and keep you going till you see your day.